In fact, I've had a headache for all yesterday, and the first question out of my husband's mouth was, did you run into any wheat yesterday? No, I don't know. I said, I don't think so, but that's the very first thing I, I come up with. A day in the life of someone with food intolerances is not an easy one. In fact, Ryan Hootmacher, owner and chef at Centered Chef in Chicago, runs his business around the results of a food sensitivity test that has changed his life. One of the revelations about Centered Chef actually happened because of an occurrence that I had with a delayed response blood test. So it was about six years ago when I got tested because I was having some digestive issues. Such understanding requires changing everyday habits and food choices. And I always wondered why I was sick right after I had ice cream. I always thought, oh, because it's really sugary. Well, it came to be that eggs were one of the highest on the list. Though these choices are not always readily available, there are options, such as up-and-coming restaurants like Cookie Bar in Lincoln Park, which offers more on its menu. So having food sensitivities for me has really helped to open up the possibilities for what other people are looking for. So as opposed to a chef who finds his or her niche and they really focused in on a cuisine, what, what my experiences have allowed me to do is to pay attention to what the audience or the, the population at large wants and to really explore worldly cuisine because there's no silver bullet. For a growing number of people, sensitivities to substances ranging from food to additives or chemicals in everyday products and environmental factors could be affecting us more than we'd like to admit. And there are some people who will take the foods away and don't notice a difference, add the foods back and still don't notice a difference. And then you usually kind of have to go down a different road because then food may not be the issue, may not be the culprit. So there's other things to explore and look so at. you try and work with patients as a colleague? Um, try and be a consultant to the person because I see more complex chronic problems. Intolerance is a concept widely disputed by doctors and other healthcare professionals, but some say the answer is up to you. See what's happening politically now, you find, no one is convincing anyone of anything. Lynn Einsiedel and Dr. Norman Schwartz give their advice to people looking for answers. My fibromyalgia is pretty much in remission unless I get hold of some weird meat. If you have sensitivities to things and you eat them and you create inflammation in your body, it affects everything. So it's not just People ask me, do I break out? No, my whole body is affected, and so I think we need to pay attention to that. And it's also given me a heightened awareness that other people could have similar problems. But um, eliminating sugar, only water to drink, only use glass bottles. Reporting for Medill News Service, this is Erin Massey.